The Edwards now know what they need to do to keep their house neat, tidy, and smelling fresh. But can they bring it all together in the attic for Kim and Mike's final challenge? For almost 10 years, you've hardly used any of this. It's mostly you said stuff. Yeah, you, 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 don't, don't blame it on your kids. Give it to the <laughs> Look, give it to the charity shop. Some of the kids will benefit. Yeah. But if your kids have had no few years without it, they don't want it, do they? Yeah. Give it to other kids who've got no toys. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Fabulous idea. Kim's final challenge to the Edwards is to clear out their house and attic by filling 50 boxes in 24 hours. With patients wearing thin, this task could be too much to handle. They were going to have to, like, help us here doing all this ourselves. It's just been so stressed. This has been so stressful for me. I never, ever want to go through this again, ever. Yeah, let's not let it get this bad again. We'll never have to go through it again. You know, they keep going on about, you know, we're not proud. We are very proud. That's why we kept this attic a secret. None of my friends have ever been up here. My mom and dad have never been up here. My sisters, no. my own kids haven't been up here in six years, you know? And that's why that whole doll thing happened when Greg came up here. I secretly stashed that doll away, and he comes up here, and he burns the damn thing. Do you know? She's volatile. I think you're being polite. Shan's crying in her room because baby Eddie I'm taking five. Let's go. <laughs> It used to be that everybody in the Edwards family made the mess bigger, but nobody would help clean it up. Can't you just listen to me for once? Since Kim and Mike's arrival, the whole family has started pitching in. Can go. And now they're dealing with their biggest challenge of all. Fill 50 boxes in 24 hours and get them out of the house. It's been very rough. Emotionally, I'm totally drained. The transition hasn't been an easy one. But the family is banded together, and the results are making the whole ordeal worth the pain. Wasn't that hard to get rid of the junk once you're faced with it, you know? Just need the motivation to do it. There you go. That's all for now. I've been chucking a lot of things and donating a lot of things, so that feels good. This is going straight to the Salvation Army. All this little pile, and the stuff on the back is going to St. Vincent Paul. OK, thanks a lot. No problem. All right. 50 boxes, 24 hours, Mission accomplished. And just in case the Edwards had forgotten how bad things once were, Kim and Mike have prepared a wall of shame. Take a look. Oh, that's awful. Before, the attic was filled to the brim. But after removing 50 boxes of junk, there's no more risk of treasured items being tossed out with the trash. Wow. Evie, can you find your bedroom in there? That's that's sister girl. Evie's room was cluttered with toys and clothing scattered everywhere. Now it's organized perfectly and everything has a place. And the dining room, once a stinky, ill-placed habitat for a slew of animals, no longer smells and is people-friendly too. Alexandra, are you pleased we came? Yes. Yesterday, I wish I had never called. <laughs> You've done a lot. You, you worked jolly hard, haven't you? Uh, I'm actually, like, proud to open my door now and let people Aww. look into my room before I was like, please don't go in there. <laughs> now, I want you to really enjoy your lovely organized home. 